Hi guys, here is the quick unboxing and overlook of the Team Orion Vortex RX8 Pro. Now, um, I just bought myself a buggy. I think the next video will be the unboxing of it. And I'm trying to put together the electronics for it. So I've bought a bunch of stuff and I wanted to go through the unboxing of the parts that I'm going to do and then I'm going to do a build series on this. So I think the most important, uh, one, one of the most important parts of putting that buggy together is the ESC. Now, a re reliable ESC is something, you know, I've had issues and burn ups, and if you've seen my MT4G3 catching fire video, you know that uh, uh, an ESC that you can't trust can be an issue because my truck was up in flames. So, I'll leave a link for that video up at the bottom, down at the bottom, that is, um, of this video, and you can have a look um, at how that worked out for me. So, I'm very picky about ESCs, that was an RTR. Since I'm doing the build series myself, I wanted to pick the best. I was at the track here in Hong Kong with a friend of mine and a couple of months ago actually. And he had uh, his buggy running on a RX-8 Pro just a couple of months, sorry, weeks, a couple of weeks ago. And he had a RX-8 Pro running on uh, his uh, buggy and I loved it. So this is a 1 8 censored or censorless ESC. It's 6S compatible, um, it's designed for 8 scale use. The best thing about this, and I was torn between this and a Tekken RX-8, uh, because this too has an adjustable BEC voltage, so you could run it at 6 volts or 7.2, so very quickly stop talking. I'm now just gonna get into the unboxing, so here goes. So here goes, I wanted to stop right here because just like all of the Team Orion products, even the Advantage Touch du Duo uh, charges that I got, the boxing is just the best part. Well, other than the ESC and the product itself, of course. Oops. Um, there you go. I mean, they put in a lot of thought and to make this look classy. So right out of the box, literally, you see quality. Look at this. Um, and that's what it looks like inside the box. So you get a piece of foam. Okay, great. Uh, a nice thick uh, instruction booklet for the uh, RX-8. Some really nice decals. Uh, I hope you can get a good look at this. And of course the ESC. So rubber tubing or, or heatsink. Um, various plugs for you to solder on depending on what you're soldering it to. And the ESC. So give me a second and I'll get the ESC out of the box. So I hope you can get a good look at this and I'll bring it in a little closer. This right here is the ESC and just from holding it. So let me t tell you a bit about the ESCs I've had experience with and I'll compare it to that. Um, RX-8. Not running it personally but running it for others, holding it and seeing just how it feels. Um, RX-8 I've ran with a Tegan T8 motor, loved it, very smooth looked good and reliable, even the Gens 2, um, Mamba Monster, I'm thinking only 8 scale right now, Hobbywing Z-Run 150 ASD, which I love and I run in my MT4 G3, and now this one, oh sorry, the Ace RC as well. Um, right out of the box, so this is, I'm guessing, the censored port right here, it says it nice and big, sensor, I don't know if I can, if you can see it. Um, Plugs come pre-attached, so there's no soldering here. Unfortunately, the motor that I'm going to run is going to need the soldering, so I'm going to use the bullets that come with it. Um, it comes pre-soldered Deans, which is great. It's a Y harness, um, which is great because I'm probably be running two 2S packs. And then, of course, the on-off switch. So I've been jumping around a lot. First impressions, and I'll tell you right away, is that it just feels like high quality. It's, I don't know, um, it doesn't have that plasticky feel. It's got that CAD designed aluminum bottom case. So, you know, that's, you know, it just gives it this really, you, it feels like you, for lack of a better like explanation, it feels like you're getting what you pay for. Um, it was I, it was a lot of thinking before I, I invested in this, but you know, and I've run this on the track with somebody else's eight scale buggy, and I loved it. It was just like you pull the trigger, it's like butter. 
Um, cogging is the last thing on your mind. It's just a quick response. Uh, really nice. So I'm gonna leave it at this. I'll do a, um, a running video once I have this up and running after I do the unboxing for the buggy first. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at it. But all in all, first impressions, great ESC. It comes secured is the way I want to say it in this nice foamy container so that you know even if you're getting it shipped and it's bouncing around with you know your courier, your postal guys and they're chucking it left, right and center, it's going to be safe and very high quality boxing all in all you know it's it's an experience getting Team Orion products and that's what I've noticed and I think you know they have as far as I go a uh, you know they've got a customer for life so big fan of Team Orion this pretty much uh, seals the deal for me as far as wanting to buy their products so that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys um, like dislike depending on how you feel about the video, but do subscribe because I'm doing a build series next. And if you have any comments, you have any particular questions, uh, post them down below. Um, if there's anything that I missed out in this video or information that I didn't give, do ask me. But all in all, um, here you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.